Ukraine's security service says that Russian special services are spreading fakes about the situation in the Kursk region, falsely accusing the Ukrainian military of committing war crimes. According to the report, Ukraine has received information that Moscow may soon carry out a provocation, staging crimes against civilians in the Kursk region and accusing the Ukrainian military of committing them. According to the security service, the aim of the provocation is to discredit the Ukrainian armed forces and spread fake narratives about crimes of the Ukrainian army. In fact, this provocation is a reaction to the successful advance of Ukrainian troops and the inability of the Russian army to effectively counter their offensive. The security service warned that such attempts are futile and will not influence either the offensive actions of the armed forces or the opinion of Ukraine's international partners. After all, the Ukrainian defense forces have proved to the whole world that they strictly adhere to the rules and customs of warfare, in particular both with regard to the treatment of Russian prisoners of war and civilians, the SBU said. Ukrainian soldiers are steadily bringing Ukraine's victory closer, and no enemy information and psychological operations will stand in the way of this. Recall on August the 6th, the authorities of Russia's Kursk region stated that the Ukrainian armed forces allegedly tried to break through the Russian border, but were allegedly pushed back. Later, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that the Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group retreated to its territory. Ukraine's main intelligence directorate refused to comment on the statements regarding the Kursk region. However, NV Media, citing its own source in Ukrainian intelligence, wrote that the events in the Kursk region definitely did not involve fighters of the Russian Volunteer Corps who are fighting as part of Ukraine's armed forces. The Ibiko volcano has begun erupting on the Kuril Islands, the organizers of the Kuril Band hikes reported on their Telegram channel. The last time such an event was recorded was in March of this year, when the ash emission reached a height of about 2 kilometers. Tourists managed to capture a real historical event on video, the formation of a new crater. Thus, thanks to the fault, the volcano now has two active craters. The tourists were at a safe enough distance from the eruption to not fear for their lives, getting maximum pleasure from the spectacle, and the view from the auditorium was stunning. Columns of ash were knocked out from under the surface of Ibiko with enormous pressure and raised hundreds of meters into the sky. Ibiko Volcano Eruption from a new crater Look what's happening Eruption from the middle crater the northern crater is also erupting and we have two working craters, northern and middle. Really, double the pleasure, the cameraman and his friend commented. Ibiko is an active volcano 1156 meters high, located 6 kilometers from the city of Severokurilsk. Охренеть. Вулканы Бека, извержение из нового кратера. Офигеть. Офигеть. Что происходит? Кости это озеро? Да, извержение происходит из третьего кратера. Капец, северный кратер тоже извергается. И получается у нас два рабочих кратера. И северный, и средний. Двойное удовольствие реально.